Well, good evening, folks. It's the Real Captain Kirk here. It's the 12th of December, 2021, Sunday evening. We are going to move at warp speed here. A lot to talk about here. Sadly, a lot of deaths here with uh, this tornado that moved through the, the Midwest here this past weekend. Uh, currently, uh, tornadic activity across the U.S. is actually 18% below average and, uh, again, uh, kind of near historic averages. So I'd always say you only need one to make for a bad year, even though the numbers are way down. Unfortunately, we believe these numbers are going to go way up in 2022, so this may be just the start of it. Um, Again, this was an unusual tornado. It supposedly uh, went about 250 miles. It was a supercell um, thunderstorm. That uh, tornado stayed on the ground for quite some time, from Missouri to Arkansas, Tennessee to Kentucky. We have to go all the way back to 1925 for the record when uh, a tornado that went through Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana went about 220 miles on the ground. So if this one indeed was 250 miles long um, path, uh, we'll see. It would be in the history books going back again to 1925. This past week, we put out our agriculture outlook to our farmer customers. Again, what we see in the year ahead. And one thing is La Nina. Again, it's a little unusual La Nina, for sure. Normally, La Nina, you'd see sinking air over the western uh, part of the U.S., um, North America, and that would lead to dry weather, which we had uh, here this year, but uh, not right now. And uh, rising motion in the Atlantic off the east coast and then rising motion over Asia. Uh, just because it's La Nina doesn't mean it's uh, acting like it should, and uh, a lot of reasons for that. La Nina is just simply this cooling of the equatorial Pacific. Uh, PDO is another cycle, Pacific Decadal Oscillation, cold up there. We'll talk about how cold. AMO is just another warm cycle in the Atlantic. Um, so again, kind of an unusual trend here, how they're all teaming up together. This is La Nina, again, that equatorial region here. So we're projecting as we get into spring next year, still going to be the coldest La Nina in 14 years, so going back to about 2008. That's significant as we look into both our winter and our um, spring-summer outlook ahead. The very unusual thing is the Pacific. The Pacific Decadal Oscillation Cycle in October was actually the coldest since 1955. So the second coldest in 165 years. So very, very unusually cold for the North Pacific Ocean. And then on the other side of the, uh, the world here, the Atlantic, uh, the number one warmest. Uh, so again, the Atlantic Warm Cycle. These bars just suggest that it's warmer than average and the blue is colder than average. So right now we're in a very warm cycle in the Atlantic. So unusual to have all these three things teamed up like this. And again, obviously we'll play a role in our weather. Looking at last week's summer here, week ending 11 December here, this big map is trends versus uh, last year. Um, here in the U.S., a little bit warmer, warmest in six years, eighth warmest in 36 years. Finally, a little bit wetter, 168% wetter than last year, 14th wettest in 36 years. Snowfall, also up 81% more than last year, most in four years. So a snowy week with a system that went through the uh, Rockies and the Plains. Um, up in Canada, cold, um, very cold actually, uh, 10 and a half degrees colder than last year. So kind of wall-to-wall -wall cold there. Uh, UK, uh, a little bit warmer, but still below average. Europe, coldest in nine years. China, number one warmest. Uh, Australia continues their very, very cold spring trends, uh, coldest in 35 years. Maps inset left are the trends versus average. Snowfall here in the U.S., again, so this is an index showing the U.S. trends for the major pop population area. So blue bars imply much more snow than last year. Yellow bars, much less than last year. Uh, right now, again, snow cover across, we'll talk about that in a bit here, is uh, about 27%. Uh, but again, so uh, a down week this week, even though we're going to get a lot of snow in the west, uh, but on a national scale, uh, not a lot this week. So we had an uptick last week and maybe an uptick right before we get into Christmas. Looking at snow cover here, so this year, about 27% of the country ha has snow on the ground. Uh, last year, only 17%. Average would be about... 32 to 33% or so. So again, uh, below average, but an uptick from last year. And uh, again, with that system that went through the plains. Looking at this week, uh, 12 through 18 December here, uh, warm, 9.3 degrees, warmer than last year, warmest in 15 years, second warmest in 36. So cold west, warm east. Rainfall a little bit less than last year, at least in four years, below average. Uh, while it looks like a lot of snow, and it is in the west, it's, it's epic in the west, uh, it's still on a national scale, least snow in three years, so below average. Just not snowing where people tend to live, uh, but if you live in the high elevations of the west, you're going to get pretty much clobbered. There could be feet and feet and feet of snow uh, in the western Sierras of California. Look at the six-day snowfall map. We'll see again. Watch the watch California here in the mountains because it's just going to be pretty epic as this system moves through uh, day after day here, Wednesday, Thursday, more reinforcing snow, Friday. So the six-day totals here, again, Again, measuring this in feet, it's a lot more than 18 inches, uh, probably three, four, five, some cases even 10 feet of snow in some of those extremely high elevations of California. Looking at next week, again, hard to believe, Christmas week. Uh, so a little bit warmer than last year, 11th warmest in 36 years. Maybe a little misleading here. We have a couple few days right before Christmas in the northeast that could actually be pretty cool. 
uh, with snow. Uh, so we'll see about that. Model's been hinting at a pre-Christmas uh, Eve snow event uh, in the Northeast, again, near WT360's headquarters here in Eastern PA, Northern New Jersey, just inland of the big cities. So we'll see, something to get excited about. 9% drier than last year, most snow in four years, uh, again, on a national scale. So we'll look at the world two-week out outlook here. Again, so this is aggregate uh, through 25 December. Again, warm for the southern and eastern U.S., again, with periods of briefly cooler weather, but the overall trend is warm for the south and eastern U.S., cold in the west and the north uh, part of Canada. And again, a lot of that uh, cold air has, uh, in Siberia, has made the plunge into western North America. So we'll see. It uh, is maybe making a pattern shift here as we anticipated a year ago that it might happen around the 18th. That's uh, getting close. So with that, folks, uh, we will end here. And I uh, hope you have a great week. Uh, and again, prayers for everyone impacted by these tornadoes. So have a great week. <laughs>